For the last activity, what we're going to do is we're going to take these trees in the background here and we're going to blur them out. Okay, and just to add some contrast to it, we're not going to blur out these trees just so that we'll be able to look at it and see the difference in the end. So in order to do this, I want you to try out the lasso tool. The lasso tool can be used two different ways. Uh, the first way, which may make the most sense to you, is if you just click for a new spot and click and click and click for a new spot. There's no dragging here. It's just clicking. Okay. And when we click and um, select, I'm not being really perfect. I don't really care too, too much. And then I'm going to go around this statue so that the statue doesn't get lost in the blur that we're going to make. Now the other way to do it, it would be to click and drag. And as you click and drag, you can see that it just takes whatever freehand form that I make. And so you can see it might be a little lumpity bumpity, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to go around here and keep going around until I can join up. Now, in order to finish the lasso, you need to join up with the spot from where you've started. So you can see that's where the spot where I've started. So when I click, then the dotted moving selection line will appear and you can see it goes right around the statue, comes back down and bumps over some heads and back to the beginning. So this is the area where I want to apply my filter. Now it's exactly the same process as before. I go to filters and choose blur. And again, I'm going to choose the Gaussian blur just because it's got the best, um, the best preview window here. And so as you can see here, the statue is going to remain as it is, scratched up and um, noised and all the other good stuff. But in the background, if you move this, you can see as I'm moving it, it kind of stops being blurred. And then when I let go, you can see the background slightly blurs again. I had this set to 1.3 from last time. If you want to see a really horrible blur, try 5. And now all of a sudden, everything in the back is really, really off which is just not cool. Uh, if you go to zero, that means nothing at all. If you go to one, you can see a slight fading. I still like adding a couple decimals. I'm going to try out 1.4. That's nice. So if I zoom in, I can see a real difference here. But for the greater effect of the picture, you're probably not going to notice. Again, I'm cheating with the lasso. You can see where I've cheated and not gotten in very tight. In other assignments, you're going to be expected to zoom right in and get really close to the edge of an item. And so the other thing you can see here is that these ones have now been blurred, but these leaves over here on these branches haven't. And if you zoom in, then you can really see the difference where there's some blur happening here, but not happening over there. And so that's how you can select different areas and run filters just on the selected area.